This is a good break from the bipartisan talks, of course. Uh, we took a break last week to allow Parliament to uh, be able to now anchor uh, the process and uh, the dialogue into law. And uh, we, we want to thank our uh, uh, Majority Leader, Honorable Ishungwa, and the Minority Leader, Honorable Pio Wandai, for taking up uh, the, that leadership role in the House to uh, ensure that the motion uh, goes through the House and that whatever we'll discuss in Bomas beginning Monday uh, will have the uh, legitimacy and the weight of law having received parliamentary approval. So we are very optimistic and uh, we look forward to tackling the issues affecting Kenyans. We do not want sideshows and uh, that is why we, uh, we have been uh, clear today uh, that the U.S. ambassador should uh, really let Kenyans sort out the issues. The comments she made uh, at the just uh, ended devolution conference were clearly biased at a time when we have deep-seated differences uh, touching on the last election and touching on electoral justice as a whole. It was totally inappropriate uh, for her to take sides especially at a time when the talks are now just beginning. This is a time when we need the support of all sides. We need our uh, ambassadors and all our friends to be balanced. But when she clearly takes sides uh, and starts cheering one side, uh, when we're in the middle of talks, it's really, really, uh, uh, you know, displeasing to us. And we have, uh, we join our leader, uh, the Right Honorable Borello Dinga, in uh, expressing our displeasure with the conduct of this rogue ambassador. Thank you. It's unfortunate that uh, those people who are supposed to be reconciling uh, this nation are the ones who are putting us asunder. It's, it's shameful for the American ambassador uh, to come and start uh, claiming that uh, one, uh, one side won the general election and the other one lost, because that is a question on the table. I mean, what was so disheartening is when the ambassador of the U.S. is actually saying that she's very happy that the cost of living in Kenya is very high. I mean, that's shameful because she supported the finance bill. That is a major bone of contention in this country. She's aware that over 90% of Kenyans are saying that they're not happy with the finance bill. And then seated up there, uh, she's saying that America is very happy. I mean, we don't, we don't need America to tell the world how happy or how unhappy we are. And as Baba said, we are not a colony of America. I mean, we cannot have those whites again coming to lord over us. That's why we are, we are an independent nation. So we support Baba in his position that the American ambassador is a law. He's taking sides, and I think even internationally, I mean, that is literally bad diplomatic behavior. When it comes to issue of non-interfering, we have got what we call the Estada Treaty. Estada Treaty or uh, uh, convention or um, uh, accord deplores or forbids uh, designated uh, government officials in another hosting country not to interfere in the internal affairs and, uh, of that particular country, which informs you why we have revolutions in West Africa right now, because of the predominant white genetic model of operation where blacks will always remain black because to remain black. West Africans have come up and they said, you know what, we have been dominated by Europeans for a very long time, let's go the Russian way. And that's where we're seeing revolutions of change. There's a wind of change in Africa and if diplomats are not careful, then we are going to go the Russian way. 
if Russia can come in to say, to recognize us human beings and tell us, look, colonial domination is not the thing, then neocolonialism actually should die. So the Americans should stay knowing that they are on notice, especially through their ambassador, that we are no longer going to be under that hegemony of uh, impunity. What the ambassador said was very wrong. If she said that in the U.S., she should be impeached. Thank you very much.